Okay, hello, my name is Anthony Russell, and once again, I'm going to be going over the Universal Motion Detector Elite application here. Um, in the previous video, I explained how the application functioned and all of the features that it had. Uh, in this video, I would like to cover the settings really quick. Um, so there's a bunch of settings here. The settings are pretty robust. Uh, some of them are for advanced, I, and that I wouldn't recommend you messing with them. I just put them in there so you can change them if you'd like to. Um, but the majority of these are for email setup. So uh, one of the great features that this application has is that it can send you emails um, when it detects alerts. So what you want to do if you want to set that up is click on send emails. And then I have uh, this configured right here. So if you have a Gmail or Yahoo account, you can just click on Gmail and then put your email in, email at gmail.com, whatever your email is. Uh, put in your password. Uh, this is not saved anywhere but on your computer. Um, gmail.com that's your email so this the second email is uh, where you want the emails to go I usually just send them to my Gmail account but you can send them to another email if you want um, and that's basically it for the email settings that gets you up and running uh, you can also like I said you can also do this with Yahoo accounts um, or if you have your own custom server you'd like to use you can use that as well uh, the capture delay setting is the uh, time taken between sampling uh, your video feed for images. Uh, this is in milliseconds, so right now it's defaulting to twice a second it'll check. Um, the alert delay is uh, the delay between alerts. So it, if, you're, if the application detects motion on the screen, it doesn't keep going off over and over and over again. There's a, this says there's a two second delay at least between alerts. Um, you can set that to whatever you like. Um, alert threshold, this is how many images or how many alerts we have to have before we send an email out. And then these last three options here are all advanced user options. I wouldn't recommend messing with these um, unless you really want to. Uh, these will alter the way the application actually detects images on the screen. Um, this is the difference between each pixel um, for it to detect or for it to determine if there's an alert on the screen or not. This is the difference between each image, uh, the, the average of all the images and the image that it took. Um, and if it exceeds this percentage, then it will alert. Um, and I believe this is in, uh, I believe this is uh, percent, yeah. Um, and then this final one is for night mode. We had some people saying that when it got dark, uh, the application didn't function correctly. Uh, and that was true. Uh, so we put this in here. This is a bit of a dampener. Uh, it, it kind of smooths the image out when it starts getting dark. Uh, the higher this number, the less alerts you'll get as it gets dark. I found 70 to be about the right number for this. Um, but feel free to mess with that and let me know if you find a better, uh, a better one, a, a better configuration. Um, as I said, you can always reach out to me on Twitter or through email, uh, right through the application in the About section. Um, I'm always happy to answer questions or help you diagnose problems, and I look forward to all your feedback. Thank you.